Hey everybody, my name is Jeremy Siskin and I'm here with a friend today. This is Maria Schaefer. Um, Maria is a great vocalist and composer and um, recently came out with an album called Here For You, uh, which I am honored to play piano on. Um, you might have already seen her on a video on my channel recently, um, but I like her so much I decided once isn't enough, right? <laughs> <laughs> Happy to be back. Um, so to, uh, do you want to tell them a little bit about, about this album Here For You? Yeah, so Here For You is my first, my fourth studio album, my first one to feature mostly originals of mine uh, that I've written over the past couple of years. And this is my first time including piano in the band. Ooh. Very grateful to have Jeremy on there. And so it has a lot of textural, sub groove, percussion, world music influences on top of or underneath um, kind of a more uh, straight ahead jazz feel. I grew up, listen, not grew up, but my musical foundation is in the Great American Songbook. So there's some nod to the standards-esque forms and then putting a lot of uh, different grooves on there. And uh, it is vocal spaced. So lots of contemporary lyrics and modern vocal style. Wait, you, you said vocal spaced. I have no idea what that means. Did I say vocal space? <laughs> <laughs> um, vocal space, where? <laughs> Should we move past that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> I'm uh, not sure. I, I don't either. <laughs> okay, maybe I heard wrong. Um, so you can visit this site at mariaschafer.bandcamp.com. Mine is in Espanol ahora, uh, but if you go to yours, it's just because my browser is set to, to everything in Spanish. You should be able to find it in English or whatever language you like. Um, and we thought that we'd share a song from the album, which has kind of a different groove than probably anything that I've talked about on this channel and something that honestly I don't consider myself an expert in but I can tell you how to kind of like BS it <laughs> um, okay. so this is a, a song called a chance to make you mine and maybe we can play a little bit of it sounds good um, here let's put that small and you want to give me a count off so I'm at your tempo why don't you try to sing into this so my piano doesn't okay doesn't overpower you <laughs> one two uh, one two three a stroll with you on Friday Eve is all I need. A stroll. seductive <laughs> like it's got <laughs> such yes. a tone to it that the mm -hmm. music and the lyrics like together really seduce you so just to be cool, clear cool. on the uh on the album it's mm -hmm. a full rhythm section yeah. um so it's it's not uh doing these kinds of grooves duo is a, always a little bit funky um yeah. but where did you get this groove from you, you always find so many cool grooves yeah okay so i love to dance mm -hmm. i am a little bit selfish in that i love to arrange things that have dance-like qualities to them so that when the instrumentalists are soloing, I just get to jam out <laughs> on stage. But I also play uh, with a lot of guitarists. So um, from the dance realm, there's the bolero and the rumba, and then this is very easily played um, with a but like mm -hmm. that type of um, kind of lilting guitar sound. And yeah, I think I was listening to a mixture of 
Cuban music and then some Spanish music, flamenco dancing, and thought, you know what? I, I need a sultry kind of <laughs> longing uh, tune and came up with this one. Yeah, beautiful. And so, like, the sorts of things that I am trying to do in the piano, I am not an expert on rumba or bolero. Uh, I can kind of half fake them. Um, but I haven't gotten fired, so I must be doing okay. <laughs> so she wrote out the bass line here, and this bass line is so unique for people coming from more of a swing jazz background. Because, like, when do we ever start with a rest? <laughs> like, everything leads to one. Mm -hmm. instead of I think we're used to things starting on beat one yeah. and then moving from there but each of these phrases and it's also such a melody mm -hmm. in the bass and to me as a pianist that means that I can do so much less with my comp um, yeah. I mean usually jazz jazz bass lines are melodic don't get me wrong but this is a little bit more of a singable melody mm -hmm. than your typical jazz walking bass line or bass line in two so when it comes time for me to add right hand, I am keeping it so simple. I'm playing just all off beats. So one, two, three, four. Right, and there's certain styles, like for a lot of Brazilian styles, I generally advocate for changing chords on the end of four, like mm -hmm. leading into it. Um, I'm not an expert on Roomba, but to me, this doesn't feel like I want to anticipate it. It feels like I want to follow it. Mm -hmm. Do I know what I'm talking about? Not really. I'm just using my <laughs> instincts. So I'm going. But you can try it both ways. I think it would be totally cool both ways. If I, well, let's talk about the bridge. So there was not a bass line given for the bridge, but I changed from that kind of triadic leading bass line to, to just a really simple on the beat. I associate that a little bit with a tango again. I don't quite know what I'm talking about here, but like to me, like a super stereotypical tango bass line would be like, uh, mm -hmm. like it's got that four to one thing going on. And then I was really playing in the right hand, that figure that you sang of, and you know, it's really a percussive guitar figure, but I'm just arpeggiating the chord as though I were kind of strumming a guitar. Let me write that out for you guys, because that might be, um, I know it's a little bit hard to uh, conceptualize, potentially. Wow, I don't know what's on this piece of paper, but it's about to be blank. Um, so, do you want to say something fun while I'm writing this out? But yeah, <laughs> uh, just talking about the, um, the presence of the bass, I do love the acoustic bass sound, and when I can write something more melodic or arco bass um, for that, then I will. So that's definitely what I envisioned in that intro was kind of um, kind of coming out of the woodwork is a conversation between bass and me. And then you talked about you know arriving on one. I kind of envisioned like when you're in partner dancing, mm. you're like doing these little flourishes. Da 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 one. Da 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 one. Um, so I kind of envisioned that in a physical aspect and then you were talking about it in an accompaniment aspect. So that was neat to hear you talk about. Cool. Yeah. So I, I wrote something out that's going to approximate like what I would play for that C7. So that's a little set of 16 note triplets on the end of one. Mm. And so we're still playing mostly the offbeats. I mean, I guess technically we're hitting all of the offbeats because the, that uh, 16th note triplet comes in right on the offbeats. Um, and it's really now playing off of beat one, right? Um, I'm gonna and that's go a great choice here. because in yeah. my melody, I'm really digging into the downbeat. So I'm landing on that and you're kind of responding or accompanying 
it in that way. So that, that was a perfect choice uh, there. Great. Let's do that bridge one more time so that everybody can hear. And I'm going to make the music bigger this time because you can also see that we have some band hits um, written here. And these are like super stereotypical rhythms. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of fun to play the cliches yeah. a little bit of these kinds of styles. So let's, let's try the bridge one more time. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, you have got to pick up, right? Yes. Four, three, four, one. Yeah. One. You go ahead. For I've been waiting for you, longing for you each night and every day. You never look my way like I dream. And if you'd only see me, you ain't too good to be the one to rule the world. I'm here to be your girl. Super fun. Um, and I did a little fill in this measure because that measure and then this measure here, those are the ones where there's a lot of space in the melody, but um, we don't have any hits or we don't have anything written. Um, and so when I go to do a fill in a style like this, I mainly think about filling in eighth notes between the offbeats. So like I'm always using the offbeats. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, 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 as my guide, and then maybe I'll go, uh, 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 or, uh, 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 you know, so that I'm always starting and ending on offbeats, and this is, I do this a lot in Brazilian music too, whether we're thinking sambas or whether we're thinking bossa novas, like the offbeat is really forming the heartbeat, and then we can play around making some of them longer, filling in between some of the offbeats, um, and that's really like where we might have our fun comping wise. But when I am playing a style like this, I am not thinking that it's my time to shine as a comping instrument. <laughs> I'm thinking this is our time to groove and to do the same thing again and again until there's a real purpose to a fill. One last thing to say, which is that on, on your album, we have a fantastic guitar player, mm -hmm. uh, Zach Kaplinger. Yes. And, um, I like with these Latin styles in particular, I, I like to defer to the guitar to do the bulk of the comping. Yeah. And I want to do more kind of tasty upper register fills. Yes. And bring in another character of that seduction. Think of myself almost like the orchestra mm -hmm. backing the quartet. So yeah. I don't quite remember, but I would guess that on this album, I'm doing probably precious little of the actual comping and I'm probably doing some, you know, some, some little chromatic windy sorts of, of fills that kind of fit this Roomba tango adjacent sort of style. Yeah, and that is actually exactly the reason that I was so excited to get to work with you on this project. All of my other albums have been with a guitar trio, so that, you know, that kind of, not pigeonholes, but leaves you with less textural aspects to work with. So I was definitely hoping, and you performed very well in, in that you were putting the flourishes or, or the extra kind of accoutrement around the different uh, rhythmic aspects. So that, that's what you did, and it sounded All great. Right. All right. <laughs> well, if you want to hear that, and I want to go back and hear whether I did that or not, uh, check out the album <laughs> Here For You by Maria Schaefer, Schaefer with S-C-H. A-F-E-R. -E mm -hmm. um, and I'll put a bunch of links in the description. Um, and so if we, uh, let's see, what should our keyword be that people are going to put in the comments? Ooh. Related to this one? Yeah. Um, maybe, what about uh, something about dance? Sure. You dance. can use the word dance or you can, <laughs> dance name, you can name your favorite dance. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I would love to. My, my favorite dance or my, their favorite dance? <laughs> Well, I, I don't think we they're going to gonna know your favorite dance. Oh, okay. <laughs> My favorite dance is the Macarena. Now they have to share <laughs> their favorite dance. <laughs> okay, yes, I like it. Let's, let's hear what your favorite dance is. All right, big thanks to Maria, um, and thanks to you all for watching. Have a great one.